Joanie Le Mercier is an audiovisual artist. He's been using light in his art for almost 15 years now. This exhibition is in two parts. The first part will show you digital environment. And the second part is about reality and the destruction that's caused by technology and energy consumption. The exhibition Paisajes de Luz is uh, my first big solo show and it's actually um, a collection of installations with light and landscapes. The first installation you see is called Edges. It's a quite basic setup. You have three planes and some projections on it. So the idea was to introduce the audience to my work through defining this sort of Cartesian mathematical space with very simple graphics, with grids and geometrical elements. So the second work, it's still made out of a grid, but with a lot of organic details. So this grid looks like a mountain uh, landscape. And I use light to augment the print which is on the wall. And I try to tell a story through time and space. It's a bit of an experiment for me. I used algorithm to recreate uh, a landscape with code. So the third piece is called Fuji. It's the Japanese volcano that is now not uh, active anymore. You can see this silhouette of the famous Japanese landscape. And then you see a bamboo forest. We discovered the story of Kaguya Hime. It's a very old tale from the 10th century. And we are using light and projection to tell the story of the Kaguya Hime princess. Paisajes Possibles is a series of drawings that I made with a little robot. From a distance, it looks like a very natural landscape with erosion and snow and water. And when you get really close, you realize it's also a grid. So it's made with algorithms and code. So I like to question the relationship between algorithms and this sort of very organic nature that, that we know and these very familiar uh, landscapes. So I've been using technology in my work for almost uh, 15 years. I spent a lot of time in dark spaces setting up exhibitions. And over the past years, I try to spend more time in nature. I like to say that he's a hiking artist. So even all the landscapes that are generated with code or on computer emerge from his observation and, his, and the time he spends in nature. The following works are screen-based. They are almost like documentaries. So you will discover the Ambar forest, which is 12,000 years old. But the sad point about this video is that the forest has been raised. So everything you will see is just a memory of these locations. And it's a big hole of eight kilometers by five because it's the largest coal mine of Europe. And it's an open pit coal mine. So you have the largest machine on the planet digging the earth and getting the coal from the soil. You will also discover in the exhibition a series of three screen prints, and those represent beautiful clouds. Actually, they're made with tiny dots uh, of white ink. And when you look closer, you will notice that those clouds are actually fumes from the coal power plant. Something that is at the core of Joanne's practice is really to escape the screen and having a scale that allows the audience to be in the landscape physically plays a big role in that. The third chapter of this documentary is about activism. So I followed a group of young people and they actually go physically into the mine and they stop the machines. I found this so strong and so powerful because a group of a few thousand people can actually do a lot to lower the emissions. So we wanted to end the exhibition with something a little bit more positive in a way. So that final piece is a collection of images that I've been making over the past years. But I'm trying to create another future that is not fossil fuel based and dystopian, but maybe using low tech, lower our consumptions in general. It's still a work in progress, but I hope the audience will get inspired. We hope the audience will slow down and really take that time to reflect on what they're seeing and on the situation. So it's not the type of exhibition that you do like really fast and you see a million different things, but you really have to take your time and go slower. <laughs>